One of the big conundrums in Savile Row is what's the difference between made to measure and bespoke tailoring? And what I'd like to do is explain that difference. Steve is a customer that's come in for a made to measure suit. So what I'm gonna do is take one or two rudimentary measurements and establish which block size he is. I'm then going to try on one of our many blocks that we have downstairs. And then on the basis of plus and minus measurements, I'm going to arrive at a made to measure suit that will be absolutely perfect for him. So, the moment of truth, Steve. So Steve has got a 44 inch chest, which is approximately 112 centimeters. He's about six foot two tall, um, but obviously likes to wear his coats quite short, which is a modern thing. And the length of his coat is about 30 inches, which is about 76 centimetres. So I'm going to select a block that was as near as damn it will actually fit Steve. So I've selected one of our block shapes from downstairs, which is closest to Steve's measurement, uh, which is a 44 inch chest and it's a regular length. Um, so if you'd like to go and try that on, Steve. Certainly. Great. Now, I don't know how this feels, Steve, but it looks just a little bit short on you and looks a bit short in the arm. Yep, I agree. Great. So what I'd like to do is to is take this one off and I'd like to try a longer block on you. OK. Is that feeling a bit better? Feels better, yeah. Yeah. So I think this is the better length on you. But I think now that we've got the chest fitting right, what I'd like to do is take a little bit out of the waist at the front and a little bit out of the waist at the back just to give it a bit more shape. I'd like to reduce the bicep a little bit, make it a slightly slimmer sleeve and take a little bit off the length of the sleeve. And I'm going to pin those adjustments and make those adjustments on his order and Steve will then end up with a perfect suit. So first off, I'm going to just adjust the shape here to take a little out of there, mere fraction. And I have to do the same both sides so everything is balanced. And then I'm going to turn Steve around. And I'm just going to take a little fraction here. Now just that adjustment is giving this a really tailored shape to the back. Very Savile Row. And then I'm going to take a little out of the width of the bicep of the sleeve. And take a little off the length of the sleeve just so that Steve shows a half an inch or so of cuff. That's it. Now we're going to take a look at the waistcoat and the trousers. So Steve, slip the coat off. So I think the other element then is the trouser. So what I'm going to do is to then adjust the waist. Now here, because I can't get the pins through the waistband, I'm putting two pins either side that indicates the amount that I'm actually going to take out of the waist. And I will then clean all of that through there, which will make that adjustment. If you turn around here. Now the only problem that I have is that the trousers now fitting fine, but there's a little gap between the waistcoat and the top of the trouser, and I think we need to lengthen the waistcoat slightly. Okay. okay? But on the thigh, the shape of the trouser is fitting perfectly. What I now need to do is to adjust the length of the trouser just so that it breaks on the shoe. So that's it. That's all of the adjustments that need to be made. So now I can take those finite measurements, put them onto Steve's older form, and he'll end up with a perfect suit.